Welcome to Lane Truro University. My name is Conrad Lane. I'm going to give you some bad news, but with a good solution. The bad news is Truro changed their policy in the subsection of the Truro policy for your vehicle. I'm going to share my screen and go line through line of the actual new policy for parking reimbursement. So when your car is delivered to the airport, for example, or a parking structure, or any lot or commercial property or any location that charges your guests a fee, in the past, you simply could just tell your guests in a message saying, hey, you're gonna be, uh, you have to pay for this fee, and if they say yes, they pay it. Now that's changed. Even if the uh, true guest agrees in the messaging, and if you don't have it listed in your details, they can actually get a refund, and t they'll take it directly from your host earnings. This has upset a lot of car hosts and tour hosts, with rightfully so, and a lot of us don't even know about this. I constantly look through the policy details so you don't have to. So follow the screen through. I'm gonna share how to protect yourself. This actually will end up helping us, but it's definitely uncomfortable. So stay tuned. Thank you for following Lane Tour University. If you're watching on TikTok or YouTube, follow the screen through. Thank you for following me through. I'm gonna review and share the charging guest for parking policy per tour policy. It's a subsection of the tour policy that has been implemented to really guard against making sure that get tour guests are charged fairly and that, are, that they're given proper notice, which I actually completely agree with, but a lot of Turo hosts and par hosts do not know this. I constantly research and review the policy. This is new, this is something I've never seen before, and so you might be caught by surprise. And let me uh, uh, reiterate this. Charging guests for parking. You can require guests to pay the cost to enter or exit a paid parking facility when they pick up or return your vehicle, or you can cover the cost. Either way, you must clearly communicate the plan. No, no surprises there, right? This is where it changes. It was not like this. Before, you simply, you can actually go ahead and just may send them a message and say, hey, you're dropping off at this airport. There's fees here. Uh, do you accept the fees? And if they say yes, then you're good to go. That's your document, sign, seal, and approval right there, as long as you have an internal messaging. But now, that doesn't work required as it states in parentheses it says put in the detail section of your vehicle listing under car description so what's saying here as it says there if guests uh, must pay a parking fee so say they're parking at an airport or some type of parking structure or parking lot if guests must pay a parking fee to enter or exit at delivery of or vehicle home location such so delivery or home location you must disclose that information and as i mentioned earlier see where it says required now put in the detail section of your vehicle listing under car description. So this means you must put the details in the car description. And if you do not, and they have to pay to get out of there, they will take it out of your host earnings. No bueno, no good. So make sure after you watch this video, immediately put some type of verbiage there saying in the details that the guest is responsible for the parking at the airport, the parking lot, parking structure, etc. Let's move further down. Included in the delivery additional instructions. So not only is required, parentheses and details, you must also adhere to Turo's telling you to put in additional instructions. Second, next, remind guests via Turo messaging. So you have to do what I mentioned earlier, what used to be the policy. You just had to let them know as long as they give you a simple okay. So that's the situation. I do agree with the change. I'm not the happiest about it, to be honest, and a lot of Turo's aren't happy about it. But just because I'm not happy about it doesn't mean it's not a proper way to do business. I do believe that everyone should be given proper notice because think of it this way. As long as you iterate and, and reiterate everything to the, your Turo guests, they can't come back and lie on you or say you didn't let them know or someone else got in their to their account and typed away a message and agreed and they really wasn't them. It was the other driver or some other person who hacked them. This document's on your profile. When the trip's booked, required in the details that they will be responsible for any parking fees in your area. Now, if you offer where you pay for the parking, great. This doesn't really adhere to you. We should probably still put this in there just in case if something happens. But I think this is a great way to actually protect yourself in the long run, even though you might not be happy. I'm a tour par host, and it doesn't matter how much money you make, it's all. it doesn't hurt to protect yourself a little bit further. Before insurance, it's also proper handling of making sure how to risk manage it's called risk mitigation, learning how to reduce the risk. And this is a great way to do it. So I do agree for, agree to it. As it states here, set responsibility for parking fees, the car description, 
field of your vehicle listing must also include information about who will be responsible for parking fees and how they'll be handled. You have three options. Guests pay the fee. Guests pay the fee, but you reimburse them. You cover the cost of the fee up front. Note, this is very important. If your guests paid for airport pickup and return, you cannot request reimbursement from them or from Turo for parking fees. You must pay to deliver or retrieve your vehicle. If you create a reimbursement invoice for these charges, we will deny your request and charge you $50 for the ineligible transaction. So you don't want to be charged an ineligible, ineligible transaction fee for improperly reporting uh, reimbursement invoice. You're wasting your time and they're making it clear here. Reimbursing your guests for parking. Tell the guests in Turo messaging that you'll reimburse them for the parking fee. Ask them to upload a photo of a receipt in messaging. Then instruct them to contact a billing agent once the trip ends to re receive reimbursement from your host earnings. Covering parking fee up front. Leave the parking fee amount in cash in your vehicle and tell the guests where to find it. Take and upload a photo of the cash in the car at check-in to help resolve any issues if a guest says you didn't leave the money as planned. So you definitely want to take pictures of the cash. I really don't agree with that um, in my own personal opinion because if you take pictures, that just really causes the message the person takes the money or someone will break into your car or when your car is stolen. But hey, do as you please. But again, if you do leave cash, follow the rules so, so it can go as planned. No, a parking fee cash transaction is not a violation of Turo's gray market policy. So there's gray market transactions. This will be deemed not a gray market transaction um, because it's in the policy now. The literature is here and that's pretty much it, people. Just want to give you that little change of the policy. It's a subsection of the Turo policy. I take my time to use my experience and what I hope to be expertise to go through and comb through these policies and find the changes so that you don't have to. So anyways, like, subscribe, share, follow me on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, uh, anywhere you find me on social media and join Lane University and subscribe to the channel to get your free content. And if you want to become a member, you can also become a member. Like, subscribe, share, call Lane out. Peace.